When you create macros or VBA subroutines, it might be nice if you could create a right-click menu with a choice of those macros, like here. These are the three macros that I can run from a right-click menu. When I click on the first one, it takes the grid lines out. When I click on it again, it puts them back in. Formulas. It shows me the formulas. If I click it back off, it gives me the regular value view. And finally, I can say, for instance, I want a preview of this page. How can you achieve this? Let's go to Visual Basic, Alt F11. And these are the three macros I created so I can call them from a right-click menu. Subgrids, active window display grid lines equals not active window display grid lines. That is a toggle command line. If display grid lines is true, not true sets it to false. If it's false, not false sets it to true. The same for active window display formulas, not active window display formulas. And finally, active sheet dot print preview. How do I get all of this in a right click menu. Make sure that you have references to the Microsoft Office object library. Tools, references, and in that menu the Microsoft object library should be selected. Clicked on, checked on. Then we start a right click menu. We declare two variables, one of the value type variables of the integer type and of the variant type. A variant type can hold an array of elements. Then declare two object type variables, one of the command bar type and one of the command bar control type. Set O menu which is a command bar type variable, to a new element in the collection of command bars. Add, I didn't give it a name, that's an uh, element, uh, a bar pop-up type, and true, at the last argument there means that it's a temporary one. So it doesn't stay there when we close the file. So I could do three things. I commented them out because I'm going to do it differently. I could set the O type variable of the command bar control type to O menu dot controls add O item caption equals grids. That's the name of that macro. And O item on action grids. The same for the second one the caption formulas that will show up in the right click menu and on action that means when you click on it run the subroutine formulas and preview. As I said I'm, I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to set them through an array. That, that might be better when you have quite a menu to show. I store in the V array element that is a variant type Something that is returned by the function array. Array is a function in VBA that says create an array out of these three elements, grids, formulas, preview, those are the names of the subroutines, store them in VArray. Then we loop through that array. This one has only three elements, but it could be many more. So we loop from zero to the last element. Arrays are always zero base. They start at zero, so grids is zero, formulas is one, and preview is two. U-bound V-array is in this case two. Then we set O item, like, like we had done here in what I commented out, to menu controls add. Make the caption of that item the element out of V array element 0, 1, 2, on action run grids formulas preview. Next I. Then we make sure that O menu 
shows up as a pop-up menu. So how do we call that subroutine? You could call it with a shortcut. And each time you do that, you run this menu. I think it's better to really make it a right-click menu. You can do that for any specific sheet. So in my case, I'm going to do it for sheet 5. Double-click on it. And in sheet 5, you will see that there is a private sub worksheet before a right click event. How do you get that one? You go to the left drop down book, uh, box and you say I want the worksheet object. And then you can choose from this list anything you want. I, I'm clicking on activate, but I had clicked already on before right click. So it would do this, you would get that subroutine. I did that with before right click. And before right click, I do the subroutine right click. That's how I call that sub in module one. So here is that module one. Right click. And then, because when you do a right click, Excel kicks in. But I don't want Excel to do anything. We are going to do something through that right click subroutine. So we use the cancel arguments of the right click before the right click. I can cancel it so it's not taken as a real right click. So cancel equals true. In this case, it will only work on that sheet that I put it in. If you want it on every sheet, then you put that code in this workbook. So in this workbook, double click on this workbook, take the workbook object, and in the right drop down box, select an event that you want. If I would do uh, on open, I would get workbook on open event. I did it for workbook sheet before right click event. The same story, right click is the subroutine and set cancel to true. So from now on, I should be able to call that menu either on this page or on the next one. Right click anywhere. Take the grid lines out to put them back in. Show me the formulas. Don't show me the formulas. Preview, and I get a preview. You see, Visual Basic is very powerful. The sky is the limit if you know what to do. You may not know enough to do the tricks you want to do. That's why you need more help. I created three CD-ROMs, two books, to help you to do miracles with Excel that Excel cannot do on its own sometimes. You can still make it happen. You can find them at genesispc.com.